I think everybody who does humor, you always think, I, you know, because you, you don't really know where it came from, right? And so you don't really know how to go get it again. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. And you're, oh, your fear is like, oh, then you think, oh, this is great. Oh shit, I did that. Like, can I say shit by the way? Yes, you yeah. can. Okay. Oh shit, I did that like 23 years ago. I just forgot. You <laughs> yeah. know. Well, maybe that's good. Maybe if you just get old enough, you just forget everything, and you think you're really you know, mining a new vein. I think I think you're okay if you steal from yourself, though. Right? You know, no, that, well, that question has been asked, and and because every now and then over the years, I've written so many columns, mm -hmm. and, and you know, I'd write a joke in a column somewhere, and I think it was, it was good. And if somebody would, you know, send me, this is why we hate the internet, mm -hmm. you know. The a very similar joke from a column I wrote in 1981. Right. You know. Oh man. <laughs> so that's not so good. Well, you know, but the the thing too with a stand-up comedian, he can hone that joke over 14, 15 nights till he'll finally go, okay, now I got it where I want it. You never get that opportunity, even if you're bouncing it off one person. Right. But and, and I don't know if this is the equivalent of that. But when I write, I don't write ever. One joke real quick. It's like um, to watch me build a sentence is painful, mm -hmm. you know, and I, you know, I get to the point, should it be a squirrel or a weasel, you know, right. and that's a third word. And it might take me an hour to make the squirrel weasel decision, you know, mm -hmm. and then we get to, the, you know, later on, should it be a rutabaga or some other, you know, it's so it's very slow, painful thing. I feel like I'm, you know, by the end of it, I don't know at all if it's funny. I know I've really worked hard on it, though, and, and you know, right. spend as much honing as I can can possibly do so that if I give it to any editor and he doesn't like it i tell him he's wrong because right. i spent i spent way more time on that sentence than you did you know writing it than you did reading it see most of us think that you write half hour a day you're done and you have a great life this is the illusion um, <laughs> and I, I do have a great life uh -huh. uh, i mean you know i every day i look out the window at people driving by in cars going to work and i think mm -hmm. thank god i'm not one of those people Right. You know, I have nowhere to go, you know, and, <laughs> and I, if I got there, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> but but I, I do have to I do spend hours and hours and hours um, cranking up very little material. It's not like I, I'm <laughs> no, it's it's agonizingly slow. You want it to look like if you write a, when I was writing weekly humor columns, I wanted to look like it took a half an hour and I was drunk. Right. Know? But <laughs> truth is, if I was drunk, it would be 45, 50 minutes sometimes. No, <laughs> no, it would take me sometimes a couple of days to write, mm -hmm. you know, a column because I just I'm just a slow writer. But it does always kind of feel like a conversation. It's, it's supposed feel, to. Yeah. It's supposed, well, there's an old saying in writing. It's um, write hard, read easy, write easy, read hard. You know, if you don't put the effort into writing it, it will show in the reading of it. Um, and I find that to be really true with humor writing. It has to be really tight. Um, it, it, the, you, you can't misplace the punchline. You can't, you know, the timing matters in, in writing, just not maybe the same way as in stand-up, but it really matters.